Hello everyone, my name is Atiya Rahman and today the topic for my presentation is the challenges of successfully rolling out mandatory training programs by the HR. In this presentation, I'll be talking about the significance and challenges of rolling out mandatory training program. Training stands as a crucial pillar for both organizational advancement and employee growth, shaping competencies, nurturing career progression, and nurturing higher engagement levels. Um, recent studies emphasize a substantial surge in investment, highlighting its paramount importance. However, the successful delivery of mandatory training encounters its own set of hurdles. For example, the presence of mandatory training modules without a clear policy can create confusion and ambiguity among employees. Besides, when there is no established frequency for mandatory training, employees may not have a clear understanding of when they're expected to engage in these programs. This lack of clarity can result in procrastination or a failure to prioritize training, potentially leading to gaps in employee knowledge and compliance. Also, without consequences for non-participation, employees may not perceive mandatory training as a priority. Moreover, imp imposing a tight deadline for completing mandatory training can create stress and time pressure for employees. Another challenge could be that some employees may have some pre-existing negative attitudes and perceptions towards training program. HR may also face um, employee resistance as a challenge. Employees may resist mandatory training, viewing it as an imp imposition on their time or unnecessary disruption in to their routine. Some other challenges could be budget and resource restraints, resistance to new technologies, and maintaining employee engagement consist consistently throughout the training process. Thank you so much. This was all from, from my part, and the later part of the presentation will be discussed by Aniruddha. Thank you so much. Now I will explain the opportunities of mandatory training in a manufacturing organization. So employees skill development. This training helps uh, em develop employees skill in various ways and motivate them to earn better revenue for the organization. So in Ethiopia, there was a soft skill board game training for the garments worker and it, it was found that 30.6% of increase in their soft skill uh, after the training. And this helps organizational goal achievement. Then enhanced culture of safety. So if you give uh, get training of safety in your organization, that gives you a sense of security to work in an organization. And also nowadays there are some uh, virtual reality based training happening in different organizations that saves money and gives a realistic uh, view of the organization. Then quality assurance trainings also ensures quality of product um, to deliver to the customer, which gives uh, added benefit from the competitor in the market. Employee engagement and retention. Yes, when people get training, they tend to perform better and uh, try to stay longer in the organization. So Virgin gives this sort of training to their employees and gets amazing benefit from them. There are some there are four different training must be given to employees by organizations situated in Ontario region. So AODA accessibility for Ontario with Ontarians with Disability Act, then WHMIS workplace hazardous material information system, then worker or supervisor health and safety awareness and workplace violence and harassment. Thank you. Thank you, Aniruddha. I'm discussing about the strategies for rolling out a mandatory training program in a manufacturing company. The strategies can be discussed under these two broad categories. Program designing is done in five phases. The first step is need assessment. Managers identify the gap between the competencies, knowledge, skills, and abilities that employees currently possess and what the organization desires. The next one is designing phase. It determines training goals and training characteristics. 
Thirdly, the development phase includes writing the lesson plans and supporting technological platforms. During this stage, the proposed training should be tested on a group of employees and reviewed by a subject matter expert. The fourth phase is implementation. And finally, the managers and the HR department evaluate the training program by calculating return on investment. The success of the training program largely depends on the active participation of the employees. To motivate the employees, the HR department should communicate the benefit of the training programs clearly. They can also announce some recognition and rewards Flexible learning opportunity and interactive sessions motivate the employees to attend the training program. Moreover, if the leaders attend the training program with the trainees and provide feedback, it encourages learning culture in the organization and motivates the employees as well. Now, I would like to request Kollul to continue further. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Kolol and today I'm excited to unveil a strategic roadmap that will revolutionize how we approach training within our organization and this implementation plan is not just a set of guidelines, it is a transformative journey encompassing crucial aspects of crucial to our success. And the first one is needs assessment and customization. Understanding our unique organizational landscape is key. We are delivering deep to identify specific needs, gaps, and behavioral changes desired. Through collaboration and customization, we will tailor material and, techno and techniques uh, for optimal learning experiences. The second one is technology and resource assessment. Technology is the backbone of modern training. Our audit will pinpoint gaps and streamline integration for interactive learning tools and management systems while smartly allocating resources for, sus for sus sustainable growth. The third one is policy development and communication. Clear policies and robust communications are vital. Crafting a comprehensive uh, policies and Devising a multi channel communication strategy ensures everyone aligned with our training goal. The fourth one is uh, timeline management and training calendar. The time, time is very precious, and our realistic timeline and comprehensive training calendar prioritize operations and ensure everyone is the, on the same page and creating clarity and accessibility. The fifth one is uh, change management and addressing resistance. Change is made with resistance, and our analysis identifies concerns and crafts, tailored strategies to address them with a robust changes uh, management plan, and we will navigate this transition smoothly. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Now, the next step on the training implementation plan is the engagement strategies and continuous evaluation step. On the, there are two major steps on that is point, which are the engagement techniques and evaluation framework. For the engagement techniques, implement interactive training modules, gaming elements or peer learning sections to maintain engagement, encourage feedback loops and discussion forums. We would use stipulated scenarios where employees would identify safety hazards, implement a discussion forum where employees share experiences and solutions regarding workplace safety. While under the evaluation framework, develop assessment tools to measure training effectiveness, schedule periodic reviews and adjustments based on feedbacks and outcomes, like developing surveys to gather feedbacks after each training module, track performance metrics related to the training subject. For example, for machinery training, track error rates or maintenance request post training the next step on that training implementation plan is the organizational integration and alignment there are also two major steps on that this step the alignment with, with goals and organizational integration on that the alignment with goals develop a change management plan addressing potential resistance training needs and communication strategies for all stakeholders. Like if a 